Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Brian Ng doing his thing, and today we're going to be doing Roberto's Corner. When I got there, I thought it was only sandwiches, but they also have desserts. Now they don't make the desserts in-house. They actually support local stores and uh, purchase them from other areas. So the two most popular sandwiches are the parma chicken parmesan and the three meat sandwich. Now you don't want to go there at noon or else it's like really busy. They told me that it's quite busy during lunch hour. So you might want to stagger your visit over there. Um, it's not the biggest place. It's actually not very noticeable. It's it's actually within the quickie of the gas station. That's the first I've ever seen of uh, a restaurant being inside a quickie mart, but they do have a lot of things over there. So uh, let's check out the sandwich and uh, see how it goes. Now you can see oh, there's a lot of meat over there. I did this all dressed and put chipotle sauce on it. I like the spice, so I, I opted for this spicy sandwich. Really nice spice to it. The, the hams here, they're very delicate. They're very um, smooth. I, uh, for $7.99, this is a great deal. The bread is really good as well. It holds everything together pretty well. And it's not, and nothing is sliding out. Plus, uh, the size of this is probably good for one person. You don't have like too bombastic of a bread. It's a nice size. Next, I'm gonna try the butter tart. I tried the, this one is the raisin one, $1.50. The shell of this tart is very thick. There's some filling, but there's a lot more shell to this. The shell and the filling, this kind of make this, makes this little layer and it's, uh, it's got a little chew to it. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Next, I have their donut, $2. Uh, let's check it out. The donut is uh, <clears throat> it's pretty good. The insides actually, the, the dough is sweet and it's not super cakey. It doesn't depend on the chocolate dip in order for it to be sweet. There is some sweetness to the donut as well. It's a pretty good donut. Overall, I th say that this place is a pretty good bargain for your money. The, the, the desserts were good, the sandwich was good. It's, it's off in a little remote area, uh, but it's worthy of checking out. I don't know if I would go like all the way over there because they also do delivery. You can't eat there because there's no seating arrangements, but I would suggest going there. Um, let me know, have you tried out Roberto's before? What did you think? And are there other restaurants that you are interested in seeing? Let me know in the comments below. And that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.